We've got 22,000 isometrical drawings. We've got 153 systems. Five million linear feet of electrical cable that went into the unit. If you look at the sheer size and complexity of the cracker, that was the challenge. How do you make sure you, you get it so that you can get your hands around what it was that we try to do here? This project was, uh, was huge. It's the central cog in the wheel of this entire complex. It has more complexity than, than anything I've ever been involved with. Overall, it's just a, a, a massive effort. When you take on a project this size, it just has a lot of moving parts and a lot of things trying to come together. On a typical project, an EPC contractor delivers a finished product. So we receive the keys to the vehicle and it's ready to roll. They even walk us through the startup, typically. This project was quite a bit different. There's so much that you take in every day. It's kind of like trying to drink from a fire hose and just trying to stay in it, you know, not falling over. That was the initial challenge on this job, is how do you break it down so that people understand what they need to go and do? Originally, we were trying to manage it as one effort, and we were having difficulties in staying up with all the small details. So the only way we found out that that would work would be to take that big plant and break it up into pieces. And we ended up managing it by six different work teams so we could stay focused on each of our different areas of the plant. If you look at the other units like uh, EOEG and LL, this is a much larger system broken down in bite-sized pieces so that we could actually handle it. We had very senior leaders, all given in their own areas, and because of that, they were able to stay focused and drive their part all the way to the finish line. Those teams were allowed to, to set their targets and they built credibility by really hitting those milestones. That was, in essence, where we broke the back in terms of hitting the milestones on the cracker unit. We were able to get a lot better visibility on where the system stood, and then we were able to see where the issues lie. By breaking it into the work plans, we were allowed to focus much deeper on the small pieces within those work plans so that it wasn't overwhelming and, and we didn't miss things, they didn't fall through the cracks. We came together very well as a team and really what got us really gelling and learning to work together was being able to accomplish small milestones inside of those and really start saying, okay, this is going to work, this is going to get us where we need to be. When we turned the, the turbine on the charge gas machine for the first time. Within the date that we set ourselves, I knew that we were going to make it. If we had not broken it down, we probably would have had a lot of smaller items that would have held us up in the end. So we were able to break it down and get it into smaller pieces where details were worked out. If we wouldn't have broken things up, I probably wouldn't be standing with talking today. We would still be in the construction phase of this project at this point in time. We've had the fortune of bringing people from South Africa, from the East Plant, and they, they've been pivotal in, in getting this operation completed. I tell you what, it's been extremely gratifying. It's been a very good team effort from everybody involved. I can't stop smiling. I mean, it's, it's a culmination of a lot of work, a lot of people's efforts. It's very gratifying to, to be at this point now that we're running and stable and making product. It is such a privilege to have been part of, of getting this through the stages that it's been in since I've been here. All the credit goes to the extended team. It's, it's not one individual, it is everyone that pulled together that ensured that they were aligned, ensured they worked as a team, stayed the course, trust your, your milestones you set yourself and trust in your team members. That is what, what got us there.